Welcome back. Hello. Here we are, and we are about to go up into one of those mountains up there. We're gonna take a nice little hike here along the Bish part of the Bishop Pass Trail. This is a, it's a slightly different trail. You know, this is uh, like my third or fourth time coming here. This time with a little more experience. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. How do you feel, man? I mean, I hate it, but I love it. <laughs> yeah. As you can tell, heart rate is hovering around 117, 120, which is, yeah. That is the goal. So it's always punishing, so who am I to complain? Just don't push push too much harder than this. <laughs> we did run into some really nice hikers or backpackers. Apparently they live nearby. And they do these hikes all the time, so I envy them. Okay, so we have just finished a little more than two miles. We're at 2.09, and that's in just an hour and 10 minutes. And like Jewel was saying, we're actually doing a respectable pace. The thing is, I feel like this pace is too slow, but it's my insecurity. I feel like I'm going too slow, but the watch says I'm not. This is a good pace. Surprising, I am surprised. But that's good. So, and this trail is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at all the steps here. Look at the peaks up there. Look at that thing. dying but I'm loving it oh. and why do we do it for these views yes absolutely I mean, and it's the suffering that makes it just that much sweeter the trail we're making our way yeah let's see how many times we get lost zero yeah that is 
very majestic what we have here before us. Look at that. Wow. Wow, yeah. Amazing. So we're trying to make it all, all the way around. About another mile. But without an actual trail, like Jewel was saying, this is a challenge, this, because we're gonna go extra slow, so. Which in a way is kind of a relief because at least now I'm not getting my ass kicked gaining elevation, right? What's that? No more gaining elevation. I mean, to the lake. Yeah. The mountains, though, that's going to be another story. Hmm. I found a little bit of snow. It's a little dirty. What you do is you dig in, and then what's inside. Hmm. Mountain snow. But you will get a brain freeze if you do too much. That's a good thing to have right now. You want some? We just climbed up this part here, which now that we've done it, it almost looks like, yeah, it wasn't hard, but wow, that was pretty dangerous. Yeah. And now, and it's still uncertain. The rest of this right now, can we reach it? I, I don't know. That's the adventure. But look at the view down there. This is hard. Yeah. Ow. And there are spiny plants everywhere. Yes. We are exploring. This non-trail part is its own different kind of challenge. We're not uh, hitting very high heart rate, although sometimes we are. But it's the just, it's the looking and looking, and there's no guarantee that there's a trail. It looks like it right now, but there were plenty of parts there where it looked like we were gonna hit a dead end and have to turn back. As a matter of fact, we were gonna start to go up, and we just couldn't. It, it looked absolutely crazy. It just makes you appreciate the trails that are already out there, it's like that. All you gotta do is just follow the trail and just don't lose the trail. But when there is no trail, all of a sudden you're Davy Crockett. Actually, that may be incorrect because I think Davy Crockett had <laughs> trail guides. People already knew some of the local trails. And then, you know, after all that moving, we're all tired. I already got a cramp in my neck from turning it too much. But look at that. Look at that beautiful little lake there.
That is amazing. Yeah, gorgeous. The views, and it's, yeah, the suffering is, is really just sauce for how it tastes. <laughs> I cannot add enough K's to this video to convey just what it feels like to see this with the suffering. We make a good team, man. Okay. Okay. No, I don't, but it's not like I can back out now. Okay, so we dropped our bags over there. That's about, I don't know, maybe about 500 feet. And I was crazy enough to, because it didn't look like there was any flat areas to set up. And staying too close to the lake is often a bad idea. And so I told him, this little hill here, maybe there's something flat up here at the top of this bunch of rocks. But when I was down there, I thought, you know, maybe it's a hundred feet. It's a hundred foot climb. Remember after all that climbing, a yeah, hundred foot climb isn't too bad. I mean, it's punishing, but, but this is one of those peaks that is like, uh, or it's not even a peak, it's a ridge. But it's one of those ridges that's like Mount Mother in that I kept thinking I was almost at the top and then there was more. And then there was more. Now I finally reached the top and I can report, well, yeah, there are some flat parts down there, but that kind of defeats the purpose of going over there. There's the lake that we came from. We hiked all, all the way around there. We hiked all the way to that lake. And then we did the no trail from over there to over here. And now we're back there. But at least I was wrong. There is no flat camping zones here. Maybe this. But this is terrible. And so it looks like... So from this vantage point, I may as well take advantage of... 
I don't know, but it looks like the best site so far is up there, right there. Where it's not very green. It's not flat though, it's kind of at a slight slope, but I don't see anything else. I think I'm gonna take a break for a few minutes here. <laughs> And this has been six hours of hiking, man. The miles aren't that many. It's only 4.66 miles. But those the, the last few hours of no trail has just been absolute murder. N a new kind of punishment. So the sun has set over the ridge. The sun would be setting somewhere over there. Um, it's not official sunset. Those sun official sunset is in about an hour. Hour, a little more than an hour, hour and a half, but um, check out that waterfall. You know, apart from all of that right now, I thought I would also comment on one very interesting observation. And that is because right now, the mosquitoes are everywhere. They are absolutely busy. They are not kidding around. But, thankfully, the mosquitoes are only what I would call level one. And what I'm saying is, I usually will split mosquitoes into level one, level two, and level three from my own experience. I'm sure that some entomologist probably has a better way of classifying. But so, level one mosquitoes are dumb and easy to kill. And that's what the mosquitoes out here are like. And not only are they dumb and easy to kill, but the poison and the repellents still work on them. I got no bites anywhere. And right now I am in the middle of tons of mosquitoes. They're not that easy to see. Maybe occasionally if the camera might show you for one, but yeah, but they're around. Thankfully, like I said, they're level one. At least they're not level two. At level two, they're small and they're harder. At level three, those assassins, those you can't even see them. All you do, all you know is you got the welt later on and the bug spray, don't work on those. Don't worry about that. Out here, they're just level one. So bug spray and repellent works. So use it. Okay, so we are getting up. Uh, it's a little past sunrise. And we're at about 11,000 feet. It's 10,960. Boy, did my sleep suck. And I got plenty of hours. I went to sleep since from sundown to sun up. What was that, like 12, 13 hours? I still didn't feel like I slept any. But that's normal, so I'm not even surprised. That's, I probably still did get something, so it's, I didn't move around, which is important. The other thing is this, the, 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 the dehydration is just, consistent I mean I, I I have I felt my mouth dry all night long so I kept having to take swigs of water just to keep from <sighs> even then I had to go to the restroom a couple of times so that's not fun this is a uh, this is a challenge <sighs> So here's the deal. We planned on scaling a peak and spent about an hour scouting for trails, but we gave up after agreeing there was no way we could do this and finish by sunset. Now to be fair, the altitude probably affected our motivation, sapping our energy big time. Oh well. We decided to treat today as an exploratory hike and use what we learned to come back another time. So stay tuned for part two. We are back on our trail from all that off trailing. We found a little way to get there. It's about a mile off and it was the river that kind of guided us there. So you can look in the, in the uh, map that I have there so you'll see but that's good news 
that means that next time if we want to go the same place, we found a shortcut. Actually, I don't know if you'd call it a shortcut because it'll still kick your ass. That one mile took us uh, from the campsite to here, took us uh, about an hour or so, and that's going down. Oh well. We are oh, yeah. back. Oh, really? Okay, good. There we go. <laughs> back after all those miles. It wasn't even that many miles, but it felt like more. That is awesome. <laughs> 